Auzubillahiminashshaitwanirrajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's see the recoverable value. Recoverable value is amount defined as the higher of fair value less cost to sell or value in use. There are two things. Cost to sell, less sale cost. I mean, if there is any cost to sell it, that should be reduced out of it. For example, like assets, which is now 10,000 and you want to sell it, you get 9,000. So we consider 9,000 as recoverable value. And the use means that if we use these assets, let's say of its remaining life, what amount we are covering out of that usage? That is cash inflow, absolutely cash inflow. Now, fair value less cost to sell means what the assets could be sold for after deducting the cost of disposal, very clearly. Then, value in use is the present value of cash flows expected from the future use and eventual sale of assets at the end of its useful life. Now, this is something uh, slightly need more explanation. Look here, you are talking about selecting the cash flow in the remaining life of the asset. By the use of this asset, whatever cash you generate, that is operating cash you generate, number one, and plus when you asset expires life, so you want to recover some value, that is the residual value. So we need to find out year by year how much cash is generated by each year and then how much we are going to collect at the end of the life of the assets. Now, once you get these figures, then you need to discount it. Now, what is this discount rate? Basically, this is the market risk-free interest rate. And that rate is going to be used to discount these cash flows. Now, look here. There are three years and there are even cash flows are there. And the present value of 10% is there. So, simply you multiply and you can get the figure. Total value in use is 248,700. So we need to compare this first with the uh, sales value and then whichever is greater, but then we compare it with the carrying value. Thank you very much.